So it is underwear as outerwear, which is something that I mentioned in one of my very earliest, oh my God. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I make fashion and styling videos here on YouTube. I do outfit ideas, hauls, and today I am doing an autumn 2021 trends video for you. It's my first autumn video of the year that I'm filming anyway. You might see another awesome video before you see this one, but this is the first one that I'm filming and in honor of the occasion, I'm wearing something a little bit more autumnal than I have of late. There will be 10 trends in total measured in this video, so do make sure that you watch all the way to the end and of course, comment down below which your favorite trend is and let's get straight into it. So the first trend that I'm gonna be talking about is a kind of hangover from summer, which is that really, really bright, green that we've been seeing a lot on the high street. There's a bag in particular that I'm going to put a picture of up here that I keep thinking about buying from Zara because I just love it. It's like a quilted green bag where you'll see it but it's that I think a lot of people have called it like Kermit green which I think is a little bit unfair like it's nicer <laughs> than that. It's quite an unusual colour to be so on trend and I think when I first saw it, I actually was like, no, I don't like that at all. Like I tend to wear khaki green, I tend to wear forest green. I do actually really like this green now and it is moving into autumn. So if you haven't yet picked up any pieces in this color, then I would definitely recommend getting one now because you will still have all of autumn to wear it. Speaking of color trends, this is something that I mentioned last year and that is wearing the same color head to toe. So last year I talked mainly about neutrals, wearing camel head to toe, black, white head to toe, whereas this year it is really more about bolder colors. So you might even see people wearing that bright green head to toe, or um, there's a lot of yellow head to toe, mustard yellow. It's kind of, it is bold colors, but a little bit more muted, and I suppose therefore a little bit more autumn or fall appropriate. If I suddenly look a little bit different, it's because I just realized that I wasn't wearing any lipstick. <laughs> so I've just resolved that problem and lip gloss has magically appeared on my face. So the next trend is something that I don't have, again, any examples to show you, but I will make sure that I pop lots of examples up here on the screen next to me. And that is ski inspired clothing. So that kind of fair isle pattern that you see a lot around winter. I do feel like when you're talking about autumn trends, you do kind of always end up talking about autumn winter and trends as well, because as the weather gets colder, they just kind of meld into one. I feel like winter's one of those seasons where you don't kind of realize it started until you're like halfway in, you're like, oh, actually, yes, it's very cold, it's not autumn anymore. So this is not a trend that I'm particularly interested in, to be honest, because I do feel like you can only really wear it when it's very, very cold, otherwise it looks a bit weird, to be honest, but it is nice to wear around Christmas as opposed to those like novelty Christmas jumpers. I think a fair art pattern, particularly in like a nice pink color or a lovely snowy white jumper looks really, really elegant rather than going for like something with a massive Santa head on it. I think it's really interesting to see how the trends have come out of lockdown as well, because obviously, this kind of acro ski style is very much about being warm and cozy and comfortable. And I think there's kind of a divide at the moment with the trends where it's like people wanna stay really cozy and comfortable and look for functionality and practicality in their clothing. And the other side of that, people just wanna forget all about that side of things and they wanna get the glitz and the glamour back in and they wanna get tailoring in, which we will come to in a bit. As well as the kind of fair isle style jumpers, there will also be like fluffy boots and all that sort of thing. So just imagine that you are hitting the slopes and you will nail this trend. I wouldn't actually have a clue what to wear if I was hitting the slopes, to be honest. I've never gone skiing in my entire life. <laughs> But anyway, the next trend is something a little bit unusual for this time of year. Obviously, we are getting a bit colder. Although, actually, it has, um, it did kind of rear its head um, last autumn because I think I remember saying, I think I said in last year's video, this is a silly trend for autumn because it's getting cold <laughs> and you don't want to have bits of flesh on display when it's cold. So, this trend is cutouts, which is something that I'm a huge fan of in the warmer months. I think that cutouts done properly can be really, really flattering. Uh, cutouts around your kind of waist area can have the same effect as a cinching belt or a corset. It can make you look a lot more curvy, but I do think it's a strange time of year, awesome to have cutouts coming into play. I suppose it is a transitional month, so maybe at the beginning of autumn, if you want to partake in this trend, then it might work. But for me, I would rather keep it to summer. 
but I love cutouts in general and I will be keeping an eye out for anything that can be worn in the warmer months to save for spring summer next year. This next trend is a lot more me, this is maxi knits which I unfortunately I have actually ordered a maxi knitted dress that would have been really handy to show you at this point. I guess this is again kind of coming out of lockdown like people want to be comfortable and it is obviously long knitted clothing which I really really like. I've been wearing, I'll show you actually, I've been wearing two different ribbed midi skirts for ages now. I didn't really stop wearing them through summer because we never really got much of a summer here in the UK. So I'm definitely on board with this trend. I'm really, really loving, and this is midi rather than maxi, but I'm loving the longer knitwear. I think it's nice and flattering and it's really, really comfortable and it can be dressed up quite well, dressed up or down really well. You can either wear it casually or you could even wear it to work with the right shoes and accessories. I'm having to be quite brief with all of these trends because I'm having to talk really, really quickly and I keep having to stop recording because someone is mowing their lawn. They keep stopping and starting so like, I think I can film and then they just start again and I'm like, Ugh. so anyway, the next trend is Logos, basically. Lots and lots of logos. Whole patterns of logos. So think like the Gucci print, the Fendi print. There was a lot of this at Versace, Autumn Winter 21. They unveiled their new print, which to be honest, is very, very similar to the Fendi <laughs> and the Gucci monogram prints. River Island, obviously a much more affordable alternative to Gucci and so on. They have done the monogram print for many, many years now. And from afar, it can look kind of a designer. So that might be a route that you wanna go down if you want to partake in this trend. It's not really one for me. I do feel like it's a little bit much. Like I've always thought that logos kind of pared down are much nicer. One thing that I do really, really like is logos just as wording. So um, there's a Chloe bag that I really, really like that I'd like to add to my collection. There's a Burberry bag that I absolutely love. And you'll see what I mean in the pictures, Prada as well. It's like canvas bags with like, just the word, just the word rather, rather than the logo that you're used to from certain brands. It's literally just the name of the brand written across and um, almost like it's not like newspaper print but that sort of thing it's like a headline almost and um, that's the way that I like to wear logos more overtly normally I don't really have big logos but if I am going to that's the way that I like to do it the Chloe Woody sandals as well that's an example of what I'm talking about I don't really know how to <laughs> explain it really um but I just like, I like when words are used in patterns. If you like the idea of this trend, but you don't want to go for a full on monogram print, this is maybe something that you can think about instead. Next is a trend that I both kind of love and hate as someone who is not the biggest fan of their legs. Mini skirts, um, the trend is mini skirts, by the way, I don't know if I said that. Um, mini skirts are something that I do tend to shy away from in the warmer months um, because you have to wear them with bare legs, basically, otherwise you're gonna be way too hot. But in autumn and winter, I actually wear mini skirts quite a lot and I wear them to work as well because you can wear them with opaque black tights and that is how I tend to wear my mini skirts. That's how I feel more comfortable and a lot less exposed. Especially if I'm wearing over the knee boots as well, I then feel a lot less exposed. So if you're like me and you're not too keen on showing off your legs, then this is a really good way to wear this trend. So this is another one of those trends where, like it's not really new, mini skirts are never really out of fashion, but because they're on trend this year, it just means that they're gonna be a lot easier to find, which is lovely for those of us that really like wearing mini skirts. This is again interesting to look at because it's kind of the opposite of like the apres ski trend and um, whatever the other trend was that I mentioned that was really about like being comfortable and being practical while still looking stylish. This is like the other side of that where people are like, we are sick of being comfortable. We wanna get out in our heels and our mini skirts. And uh, this year that is reflected in the fact that they are really, really mini, much shorter than usual but hopefully we'll still get some slightly longer mini skirts for those of us that don't want to show off our pins quite so much. I always think if you're gonna do a mini skirt, it's nice to go for a tweed or a faux tweed fabric. I always feel like that looks a little bit more classic and a little bit more everyday as well, rather than like looking like you're going out for cocktails, you can <laughs> get away with a mini skirt wearing it to the office if you go for a thicker, almost more woolly kind of fabric. And speaking of going into the office, the next trend is all about suits. So we saw a lot of these, I think, at 
Burberry and Gucci. I'll pop some pictures up on the screen. But again, this is just about people being excited to wear the things in their wardrobe again, I think. And I've always loved clothes that are a little bit more tailored. And I feel like over the years, this has kind of disappeared from the high street. So it's nice that it's going to be coming back in. I've always liked really nice form-fitting tailored clothes. If you're not hugely into wearing a full-on suit, the nice thing about a suit is that they are separate. So you could just wear a blazer rather than a suit jacket and trousers or you could just wear the trousers or a pencil skirt and really go for the like girl boss aesthetic a well-fitting suit is of course also something that just never goes out of style so this might be the year that you want to invest in a tailor-made suit if you're in a position to do so and you're going to look bang on trend this next one is one that i think can frighten people a little bit when they first hear it but don't worry it's not as bad as it sounds it is underwear as outerwear. I don't know why every man and his dog wants to mow his lawn today. Don't worry, underwear as outerwear does not mean literally wearing your underwear on full show, obviously. I actually discussed this in a blog post, one of my very earliest blog posts, I think. So this trend has been rearing its head for over a year now. And I think actually my blog post was all about how to wear it in the workplace. So I'll link that down below. Um, it can be done in a much more elegant, sophisticated way than literally just having your bra on show. <laughs> it's really a lot about corsetry this time around, which has obviously been massively influenced by the whole Bridgerton thing, which I don't care. I didn't think that was a very good show at all. Um, but I know that it really feeds into the cottagecore aesthetic over on Instagram and TikTok that people are loving. So I guess that's partly why it's been as successful as it was. So wasn't because of the story. So corsetry is one way of hitting this trend and another way is sheer fabrics. So obviously things where you can see your bra through them but you know what I mean like a sheer shirt or like a crocheted shirt and your bra's just peeking through pretty bra obviously. This is something that's been going on for years so it's not as crazy as it sounds. Like when you hear underwear as elsewhere you think oh my goodness I can't wear that but actually it's very wearable and it can look really really sophisticated. If you think about it this has been going on all throughout summer as well those like 90s camisole slip dresses that is the underwear as outerwear trend a slip is something that you wear underneath your clothes so you've probably been wearing it without even realizing. I'm so glad that we've come to the final trend because I've been getting so angry during this video because whoever it is will not stop mowing their lawn and it's actually driving me crazy. So we're nearly at the end. The final trend that I wanted to talk about today is the quilting trend. Now this is something that I really, really love in bags and I really do want to pick up that green Zara bag, this is twice now that I've mentioned it, so I think that's a sign that I need to go and buy it. But you know like that Bottega in styled crossbody bag with that lovely quilting, and obviously if you want to go crazy and spend loads of money, a beautiful Chanel bag, oh yes, that would be amazing, goes with absolutely everything. And again it's a trend that will never really go out of style, I think pretty much everything I've mentioned apart from the bright green, I think most of the stuff I've mentioned in this video are, they are fairly timeless trends, nothing crazy is really coming in this year as far as I can see, I mean I've not obviously mentioned all of the trends, but when I was doing my research there was nothing that I was like, well that's, that's new, not that anything is ever really new in fashion. So bags and as I've mentioned before shoes is definitely where I like to get my quilting in. I do not go for quilted coats but these are definitely a massive trend if that is the sort of thing that you love a proper duvet coat then definitely go out and treat yourself there will be loads on the high street they're not for me I feel like they add a little bit too much bulk that's why I like to have it in my accessories and oh my god a quilted mule if you haven't heard me wax on about this enough already it just makes them so so comfortable and who doesn't love a comfortable heel i'm trying to talk really really quick in case people start mowing their lawns again so <laughs> sorry if i'm getting my words a little bit jumbled at the end here but thank you so much for watching guys i really do appreciate every single view every single like every single comment and of course every single subscriber so i really hope that you join me next time i'll be back next sunday at 6 p.m as usual i hope to see you there bye